wife cannot pass a day without listening to tango or trying to, to dance a tango. I need to dance tango almost every day. When I met Pedro, when, I, when we were first going out, he was working in the Spanish restaurant and he hardly ever had to be a waiter because he was such a popular dancing partner a salsa partner. Women would go to the restaurant just to dance with Pedro. People would book tables just to be served by, by the dancing waiter, as they call me. When you bend over, you concave your chest. And, and no head forward. Eh? Like this. Eh? Here. <laughs> when I was three years old, my mother sent me to ballet classes. She really wanted me to learn ballet and to start early. And I'm very glad that she did because it really helped me to, to be dancing at such a young age. I loved, I really loved it. I remember going to this church hall and in those days we actually had pianists playing for the students. These days it's just tape recorders or, or CD players and it was really charming. We often do shows with um, Pedro's son Edgar and his girlfriend April and we are really delighted about the way they're coming on. Uh, we've, we've seen them from the very beginning. April was one of our students and I remember spotting her in class and saying to her when the term was ended, I hope you stay April because you're really good and sure enough she stayed and we're really happy with that and then as, as fate would be, she became Edgar's girlfriend. <laughs> see that say in Australia it's some of the men have trouble to embrace a woman they find it difficult it's find it uncomfortable they hold the woman out here when they really should be holding it here so I say to the guys just just hold the woman in front of you like she's your really good friend you have to tell these guys to do that and I know that in Argentina you never have to tell a man to do that I don't want to stereotype but it's very very touchy-feely culture in Argentina and this is where the dance evolved and that perhaps explains it's one of the reasons why it is such a close contact dance. We live heart to heart, center to center and from there we take her. I'm going to take her heart through her body and away from her. When I leave, I leave the center of her heart. So everything she does start from the heart. So I move her leg because she's relaxed because I feel it in my heart like her leg is moving. Tango is, is, can be an addiction and I have a friend, an old Australian guy who got into tango and I remember being at an interview with him once and he was asked by the interviewer if he talked about his dancing tango to his friends and his reply was well, we don't talk about that much. It's a bit like a drinking problem. And I just thought, you know, that's typical response of an older Australian man. In this society we live in, restraint is seen as a negative word a lot of the time. But for us, it's what makes tango very special. Because, okay, if you imagine, say, a really good actor playing a very sad role, something terrible has happened to him, for example, and you just see this little quiver of the lip, you see, the, you can feel the emotion, it's so strong. It's so much better than the man going into melodramatics. You know, there's so, this is what tango is about, there's an intensity. It's like, you're, you're holding in the music, you're there. You're so into the music. You don't need to go and sort of wave your hands around. And, you know, it's, it's so there. And the two will feel that. Generally, it is that you have an embrace, you maintain an embrace, 
and that you don't bump into people when you walk on the music. But within those parameters, there's a lot of variation. The way the man will hold his arm, for example, it might be lower, it might be higher, it might, the way the, the hands intertwine can be, sometimes the man may have his hand like that, sometimes like that. There's many ways. The lady's arm can change, could be like this, could be like this, could be like this, could change the whole time during the dance. The lady's head might be like this, might be like this, or might be on the side. If you start the embrace like this, <laughs> you've lost it already. There's no going back. So you have to start with your chest out and forward. Let the lady accommodate. Let her do the one who has to merge into your it's chest. kind of like King Kong, sort of. <laughs> yes, yes. It really is. Oh, yes. And we like that. I'm sorry to say it. We do like it. Because we need a chest. We need a chest. <laughs> yeah. Milonga is a gathering of people dancing. It's a social tango dance. That's what a milonga is. It is really beautiful to go to a very good milonga and see beautiful navigation and you see it like one beautiful moving kind of snake, snake of dancers, all interpreting the music in a similar way with a their own personality but still there all together in harmony and it's really lovely and it's like the floor is moving yeah, yeah it becomes alive the floor is animated from the dancers <laughs> the themes of tango music music of uh, Tango comes from, comes from a past. Well, let's look at what has happening in Buenos Aires at the turn of the century. We, we had a huge migration of people coming to try to make a life, to make some money. And they were very poor and they were lonely, they were isolated. There weren't many women, there was a lot of men. And a lot of the songs are about remembering their homeland, remembering their mothers, their girlfriends. It's always about loss, nostalgia, it's, it tends to be sad music. We have many tango tourists coming to our milongas. Some of them speak very little English, but it doesn't matter because we, we don't need to speak. It's, a tango is not needed, there are no words. All you have to do is understand the language of the dance and you, you connect with another person. I would say, take your time. Tango is always there, ready to, to show you how it's done. <laughs> Levantarse y volverse a agachar Todo el día en los aires que al sol Ay, 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 ay En memoria de mi segador No arrebañe los campos de mies Que detrás de las cosas voy yo